Hi, welcome to Canon's Tech Talk on Uniflow Online Filing Assist. My name's Ross Beavis and I'm a software solution consultant here at Canon. Before I begin, you may know Canon best for our high quality cameras and photocopiers. However, there's far more to our offerings than just excellent technology products. Canon has been providing document management solutions to accounting firms and commercial businesses just like yours for a long time now. The secret behind Canon's success is we're always reinventing our approach to innovation, as is evident through our continual high rankings in the world's patent holders. Today I'm going to talk to you about Uniflow Online Filing Assist, which can help you streamline your advanced scanning and filing. Okay, so let's jump into the demonstration of the product. On the screen you can see the Uniflow Online Filing Assist user interface. Today I'm going to send my documents out to Dropbox. We can of course send documents out to OneDrive, SharePoint, Box, Evernote, and a number of other locations, including Canon's therefore document management system. So we have a number of places we can put them and um, we can create the folders as we go. So I'm going to jump across to where we see the scanned documents have appeared in my filing assist inbox. So this is the screen you'll see when you've sent your documents through from the scanner or from the Canon multifunction device. And as you'll see, I've put those four documents through. Now, when I click on the document, it tells me all the information that it's extracted automatically off the document based on the templates we have pre-created. And I'll show you how to create a template a little bit later. If I click on the field for the customer name, the screen changes and shows me exactly where it's extracted that information from. So this template has got Alice Cooper's name from the address block. And the notice of assessment is the document type and where it's received it from. So it's identified the document type based on the, the notice of assessment words on the page and then determined where to get the name from. You'll also see up here in the where it's got the customer, the name and the current financial year. This is the file structure that I've decided within my Dropbox that I wanted to store it under. So all my customers will exist in there. The new customer name or the existing customer name folder and then the current financial year. So you might have different buttons on your device. You might have a button on the Canon copier for current financial year. You might have a button for previous financial years. And that way you can feed different templates based on the different financial years. For example, if the notice of assessment format had changed, it would need a different template for that year. Mine is, of course, as you can see, based on the 2019 year. So let me move, jump to the next document and we'll see client Brett Michaels. So once again, this is a job keeper form. So if I click in one of the fields, it shows me the document type has been determined by the word job keeper, and it's decided this is an ATO document. Now I can see the words client Brett Michaels. Now that's where the OCR has picked up the, the label as well as the name. So nothing's quite perfect in this world. So all I have to do to correct that is simply go to my name and just move the box and the document will adjust itself and now it's refiled it and named it. Now what, all I have to do is save that. Now this is asking me do I want to update the template and this one was just an exception so I got it a little bit a little bit wrong for that one individual document. It didn't get it wrong for the whole template so I'm going to just say say proceed without ticking the box. The next document I'll jump to as you can see this is another notice of assessment, this time for Dave Grohl, and it's picked up all the information correctly. And the last one, once again, it's used the same one it did for JobKeeper, for Dave Grohl, but it got it all correct. That's why I didn't want to update the template when I was doing it for Brett Michaels. So once I've saved all of those, I can go back to my file assist. Now I can select all my documents because they're all correct now. I'm happy with all of the all of their metadata that I've captured. So I select them all and I can send the four through. Now I could send them through it one at a time, but today I'm just going to send all four through. So that's going to take those four documents and feed them into my Dropbox account. Now I'll jump across to Dropbox here and you'll see it's creating the folders automatically because they don't exist yet. You can see Alice Cooper, Brett Michaels and Dave Kroll. The three folders have been created. If I jump into the one for Dave Grohl, we'll see it's also created the financial year folder automatically for me below that folder. If I jump in there, we see the two documents created with the right correct name 
and the current date and time that we we processed them on. And if we open that document, here's my searchable PDF. I can do, I can search for a word on there because all that text is searchable. So that's how you process the documents very simply and very easily for the ones that already have a template. I also have a document that doesn't have a template. So if you get a new document that the system hasn't seen before, and I'm gonna upload this one and create a template for it. So I've got a little upload facility where I can just drop a document in here. So I'll grab my document from here that it doesn't know, and I'll just drop it into that location and it'll load it up into the system and we can go through and process that and create its template. So it's uploaded it. We'll see it's processing a file. And when that's done, the document will appear in my inbox, just like it was scanned. So here's the document. Now you can see this time the document has unlearned and needs to be processed. So when I click on this document, of course it doesn't know about the metadata because it doesn't have a template. So what I can do when I click on the field to try and teach it, I'm going to tell it where to get the document name from. Once again, I'll click on the field and then I'll, t I'll just adjust my, my little elastic band to only capture the name that I want. I can then do the same thing for the document type. Now on this document, I can choose where I get the document type from. So just click there and I'm quite happy with that as my document type. So once I've done that, you can see I've got all my information. Now that I could have additional fields, I can have as many or as few fields as, as we want for these templates. Today, I've just got it doing document type and name to for keeping it simple. But once I save that, now I'm going to then tick this box and apply it to all of documents of that type. So when it finds another one that matches that document format, it'll remember it and it'll know it for next time. So I'm just going to call this PAYG for, for the purposes of, of this demo and proceed. So what will happen now is the unlearned and the exceptions go away and that document is ready to go. Now I can send that through and it will do the same thing within my Dropbox account. It'll create a folder for Joan Jet. So let's upload that document again and see how the templates applied to it. So I'll drag the document in one more time. And this time, because we've created and saved that template, all information should be gathered correctly so now you'll see this time the documents come in without those, those labels showing us the exceptions or the actions we need to take. And Joan Jet and the document type have been clearly identified and that template is ready to go now. And we can now feed it out and send it out to wherever our final destination is. So once we've created the templates, it should make it very, very easy to put more documents through the system, file them in the right place, uh, making it very, very easy to find them later. So that's an overview of Canon Uniflow Online Filing Assist. Hopefully you can see how it will reduce the time taken to scan and file documents, make it easy to find those documents, and add consistency to your filing and naming standards. If you want to learn more about Uniflow Online Filing Assist or our other document processing solutions, please visit the Canon stand and our team will be happy to help.